Look at those two beauties. I am super proud of those. We still have several more blooms to enjoy. Hopefully I'll get seeds and have more next year. Now something's eating my Brussels sprouts. Probably cut worms. I have picked worms and picked worms. I have baby squat brush. There it is. Squash. Y'all, I'm hoping that's okra. I planted some okra in here. Oh, I love okra. I put my grass clippings in here. I thought I had some more. Oh, I can't wait to roast those or grill them. My sweet potatoes are doing good and my my um, mustard green seeds are ready to harvest. They are about ready. Y'all see all those seed pods? Bean seed pods? That's for my mustard greens. So I'll be, I'll be harvesting those in a few days. And I have new growth on my, on my blueberry. So this blueberry plant might actually survive. My potatoes are doing good. I've got some sweet potato in here and I'll be setting out more sweet potato. More sweet potatoes. I have the slips. Yeah, they're even pretty from the back side. It's a cool, nice morning. I have a, a cucumber. All these mushrooms, let me get them out of there. little tomatoes and lots of blooms I had little tomatoes coming on those plants look real hardy they're starting to do real good got blooms lots of blooms Trying to keep this pulled up through these holders and more blooms. I got uh, I got more asparagus coming up. A little tender of asparagus. There's a cantaloupe. That survived the flood. That's a peach tree my friend gave me. I hope that's what it is anyway. She said it was peach, so I'm hoping it's peach. There's a little one. I thought that one was not going to make it. There's a tomato that was underwater. There was one over here, but I guess it ain't gonna come up, but I got more I can put out. Y'all, I don't know what a peach leaf is supposed to smell like. I was smelling the leaf. But I got cantaloupe there. I got cantaloupe over there. So maybe I'll grow a few. I can put some more seeds out. I think that's another one coming back up. There was a whole row across there and the flood got them. 
Got another squash over here. I don't see any squash on it yet, but we got blooms. These are all the little tomatoes that come up from seeds from last year. And y'all, they always make the best. They always make the best cucumber. Get it going up through the thing. That's asparagus in that pot. And this is where I had the cucumber last year that made enough cucumber for me and my sister all summer from one plant. So we'll see how that goes. And I think that's a little cucumber over here. And it's full of bloom. So we might have, we might have a little bit of stuff that the flood didn't kill. But y'all look what happened to my broccoli. Two days, I didn't look at it two days and look how those worms have stripped it. But it, it didn't kill it, it'll come back. Those cut worms, I'm telling you. I have picked worms. I don't see any today, but they stripped my broccoli. Cause I don't like to put out poison, so. But I do have broccoli in other parts of the yard. And my turnips are making, I'm waiting for them to get big enough to pull so I can reseed this bed. See, I got my little turnips. I love rutabagas, y'all, but I haven't found any seeds. But uh, I don't know, I have some more down in there somewhere. I don't know where they're at, but I've seen them. There's a little one over there. But I'm waiting for them to get big enough to pull. Oh gosh, y'all, the cutworms has got on my lettuce. Oh, I hate to put poison out. Oh goodness. I don't. I don't see any worms, but I sure see. Oh, there's one. Y'all see that little bitty thing right there? Oh, that's what strips it, y'all. They will strip it. Look here, who come to see us? Who come to see us? Anyway, just a quick update. Oh, what's going on out here on the homestead look at that beautiful thing showing out it always does I've had that thing for years and years and years and y'all I'm not kidding I'm telling you 20 years 20 something years that that purple veined upright is really growing I can't wait till those get big. I'm gonna bring the tape measure out here and show y'all how big they are. And y'all remember I was worried about my, I wanna say Mary Bell. Annabelle, I don't know, something Bell. Uh, hydrangea, it blooms white. But uh, y'all, it, it's coming out good. Remember the leaves were real stunted and kinda looked strange, but uh, I think it's gonna be all right. That's a cutting that got off of my son's uh, maybe two years ago and I moved it over here with me last summer. But uh, it was coming out and the freeze got it. And then we got the flood. So God bless, cause I think it's gonna make it y'all. I think it's gonna make it. And if it gets big enough, see, I can get cuttings off of that and get more. And that's my plan if I can ever get it to grow. But it's it's doing real good. It's about a foot wide and foot tall. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Y'all, that hostel right there is just unbelievably big. I need to measure it and see how big. Y'all can see, y'all know what size those bird beds are, and y'all see it's huge. 
or to a stepping stone. Look how big it is to that stepping stone. Okay. The Copper King hibiscus is coming out beautifully. If I can keep the chickens off of it. So we are having, look how big these are against the fence. That's a five foot fence. Look at that one's almost to the top. I put those there because I figured they would grow to the top of that fence and cover that whole fence was the plan. And this is one of my hibiscus and it's got buds. So it's going to be blooming. I lost two down by the creek in the, in the freeze and my Texas star will be blooming soon. And y'all that thing's got to be a good six foot tall. It's a good bit taller than I am. It's tall. Uh, anyway, I lost two of these down by the creek. So I have two, three in this bed. So I'm hoping I get cuttings and can get some more down by the creek. Aren't those beautiful? Love that color. Love it, love it. That's my little uh, crepe myrtle that come up volunteer. And I have three of them in a row. There's one. I have three of them in a row right there inside the chicken pen. That'll be a beautiful shade. Be a beautiful shade. And there's my my ice plant blooming. Pam, there's my bunt pan uh, and my umbrella. That's my, my, it's a bunt cake pan. And that's my ice plant, y'all, I love it. And these are by Hyacinth Bean Vine. That's gonna grow on that trellis. I'm gonna let that little, uh, tree mimosa i'm gonna let that little mimosa grow up right there to shade that little sitting area more y'all i have a lot going on out here i always think i'm just gonna video for a minute and then i just keep seeing something something to talk about the uh angel trumpets coming out but the leaves look really strange but I guess it's doing good considering it was under about two foot of water. And I got this little tree tied back up yesterday or the day before. The flood turned it completely over. So I staked it back up. So I'm trying to get a little more shade in this area over here. And I think See, those leaves are doing the same thing on that one. My friend gave me a bunch of cuttings of angel trumpets, and I set them out across here, and I think that's one coming up right there. And that is salvia. I don't know what color. And then this is a little alfia tree I set down here last year. And y'all, I have another cutting on this creek bank somewhere, <laughs> and I saw it the other day, and I can't find it and all this stuff. It was just starting to put out a little bit. That's a tech white. This is a white Texas star. And that is a red Texas star right there where, where the kitty's at. But I have a, another Alfia tree right here. And see, the other one is just like that. It's a lot and it's starting to bud. I don't know if y'all can get that bud in there, but it's a lot, but y'all, I have another one on that creek bank somewhere and I can't find it. <laughs> Gosh, but my grass is doing great. I got a lot of new growth, y'all can see. The lighter colors, all that's new growth. Y'all, I've got to get a, uh, that's what I'm fixing to do, go in and see if I can find one online. I got to get an edger for this driveway. Felipe's tried to do it a couple of times with his uh, 
weed eater, but it slings too many rocks on my car in my house. I'm scared it's going to break a window. But uh, we'll be back with more updates.